everyone and thank you so much for coming back and joining me. I am going to be doing my reaction tonight for the second trailer that has came out for Disney's you know, live action for Mulan that we're getting in 2020. I did a trailer reaction of the first one that Disney brought out and I was happy with it. I really liked it. So we're just going to go straight ahead and I will see what I think. Here we go. Do you know why the phoenix sits on the right hand of the emperor? She is his guardian, his protector. That she's both beautiful and strong. Your job is to bring honor to the family. Do you think you can do that? Citizens, we are under attack from northern invaders. Their leader calls himself Ori Khan. Fights alongside a witch. No survivors. By edict of his imperial majesty, wow. every family must contribute one man to fight. Have you no son? I am blessed with two daughters. I will fight. must be strong. This time he will not return. Wow. Nice. Loyal, brave, and true. It is my duty to protect my family. I swear to Ancestors, please wow. protect her. What is your name, soldier? Hua Jun, commander, son of Hua Zhou. We're going to make men out of every single one of you. Close the gate! The spirit is evident. What? But something holds you back. When they find out who you are, they will show you no mercy. Wow. I'm Hua Mulan. I will bring honor to us all. Oh, wow. Damn. That literally massively blew me away. You know what? Crystal Liu, who is playing uh, Mulan, she actually is a martial artist and I have spoken about this many times before. I'm just going to make sure nothing's going to else play here. So just take this out. <laughs> um, I absolutely love martial arts. I have about two cupboards full of tons of martial arts uh, DVDs. Donna Yen's going to be in this. Uh, I love Donna Yen. He's amazing. And of course, Jet Li's going to be in this as well. have so many movies of both of theirs. Um... I, I don't know. I, I can't wait to go and see this. I was really, honestly, genuinely being honest, really taken back. I didn't know what it was going to be like. I did honestly think there was a good chance it was going to be really good. But that was utterly fantastic. Absolutely. Hats off, Disney. Hats off. Hats off. I'm going to be genuinely honest here. Do I think that Disney should be making a crap ton of live actions? No, I don't. But I think if they were to just do minimal ones like this, um, just now and then, it would be way better, honestly, for the viewer's experience. I think they've fantastically casted her. Um, and I mean, as I say, she is actually a martial artist. And in some of those scenes, she's really cool, like with the arrow and everything, like like that. Um, and the rooftop scenes and everything at the end, I'm weird. Anytime I see things like that, I just think of like, I don't know, Assassin's Creed or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'm weird. But what I will say is that visually this looks breathtaking. And one thing as well I wanted to point out is, although this is live action, obviously the story of Mulan, we all know the story of Mulan, but it seems like it. It just seems like a movie. I know it's a movie, but I, I don't know how to describe it. What I mean is 
for example, I didn't actually go and see the live action of, you know, apparently The Lion King. And of course, you know, there's other, you know, live actions, you know, like the Lady and the Trump and everything. I decided not to go and see that one. But, you, you know, it screamed like it just didn't do much for me from the look of them to go and see them. But whereas this one, regardless of putting the stamp on it that it's a Disney live, a Disney live action movie, this has just proved that it just looks like a brilliant movie and that Disney, when they sit down and they're not being silly and they're actually putting in the work to put something together that looks good, they can do it. They 100% can when they put their minds to it. So what I would say is instead of Disney bringing out, like they're going to be bringing out um, 101 Dalmatians live action, the original movie of 101 Dalmatians with normal humans in it, like a movie, was, it's one of my favourite movies to watch around November. It doesn't need to be done again. Emma Stone, sorry, I can't see her playing Cruella de Vil. And she is. But anyway, this looks fantastic. And it has a fantastic cast. Ones that I absolutely love and have a ton of DVDs of. I think Mulan is casted well. I think she looks great. I think she's going to kill it in this movie. I really, really do. Music in this trailer was absolutely fantastic. I think if they have that kind of music going on, in the movie then that will be terrific and it looks like i think i think they will pull this off well and it looks like you know they're going to keep with the story and the culture and everything and i think it is going to be brilliant and that bird and everything at the end was unbelievable i think it was like mid towards the end it looks breathtaking the mountaintops and everything I, I, I was honestly blown away. Um, I think it was March it said it was coming out, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that it was March. Um, honestly, when I thought about it in the past, oh, there's going to be a free... I read about it a long, long time ago and I actually made two, two separate videos. One was Disney Live Actions, What's Next, Part 1. And then I did another one, Disney Live Actions, What's Next, Part 2. So that's kind of the thing I'll probably keep up with on my channel, you know, like uh, part three, part, part four, part five, you know, when I hear and read them. And I remember months ago I made that video and when I read about it, it was kind of more like a, a rumour. It was, well, I can't remember how long it was the video ago. It could have been a year ago, I can't remember. But when I first heard about it and I didn't know 100%, you know, if it was real or not, I was thinking, I don't know about that. Because obviously the cartoon, the animation's fantastic. I thought, how are they going to pull that off? I don't know about that. Because they're not, some of the Disney live actions are good. That is the thing. But it can be kind of like a hit and a miss. Yeah, the bird was 1 minute 32 seconds in. What a shot. The cinematography seems absolutely fantastic. And it seems like it really fits well with the tone of the movie. With the story and everything that's going on for Milan. And I think Johnny, Donnie Yen, he's always fantastic. You know, I've never seen him in anything that I'm sort of like, you know. And seeing with Jet Li. Amazing. I am very excited for this and those dragons 43 seconds in. So cool, those gold dragons. Wow. Amazing. And the horses and everything, of course. I love horses. And that dress and everything that she was wearing, the purple dress. Beautiful. I can't actually wait to see uh, her fighting scenes. I think that is going to be so cool for me to watch. There's, you know, I think even, forget about it being a Disney live action for a second. The fact that, you know, let's see like martial arts and everything corporate is, you know, you are going to see fighting scenes and things like that, you know. I think that that alone would has sold me, if that makes sense. But, but that's just me saying that as in like, it'd be like someone seeing a trailer and it feeling country and western vibe and them loving country and western and them having a ton of country and western DVDs and then seeing a trailer of something um, and then being enticed to go and see it. And that's the whole point in a trailer anyway. To give you an idea, do I look like I'm going to enjoy this or whatever? And on this occasion, honestly, 
yes i did not like the aladdin live action just go put that out there um i give it a one out of a ten in my in my uh review was not a happy puppy with that but this one i have to say i'm very very excited for i'm very hyped for um i must actually let my boyfriend know about this because we are both you know big martial arts fans I don't know whether he has seen yet this yet, unless it's popped up in his, you know, YouTube or whatever, the sub subscriptions of maybe movie companies or whatever, yada yada. But I think he's really good. From what I can remember, he really did think the first one looked fantastic, the first uh, trailer. But I hope it's going to be fantastic. I'm going to guess that it's going to be a long movie because with the story and everything of Milan... I think that it would really suit actually being like a two hour, 50 minute, maybe a three hour movie. I know some of you might strongly disagree with that, but that's just my own personal opinion that I think it should be at least two and a half hours at the least, because I think there's just so, so much that they can do with this and explore with this. The scenery looks fantastic. The cinematography looks fantastic. I'm really digging the cast, loving the cast, loving the lead character. And I'm excited to go and see Donnie Yen and Joey as well. So I just I really love it. I don't know what else to say. It's obviously my first time seeing it. So that's why I'm kind of a bit here, there and all over the show, all over the place. But I would really love to know what you all think of this down in the comments. And if you don't like it, you know, that's fine. Let me know why. And, you know, I know a lot of you should probably say, you know, like, I'm sick of seeing the live actions. And you know what? I'm totally there. I am actually, I'm on page 46 with you. Do you know what I mean? If you're on page 46, I'm on page 46. Do you know what I mean? But at the same time, I think that Disney should be doing more live actions if they can do it right. And, I mean, obviously I haven't seen this movie. I don't know how good it's going to be. But going on that trailer, judging on the trailer, it looks like Disney knew what they were doing on this one. But in my opinion, they didn't know what they were doing with Aladdin. And why are they bringing out 101 Dalmatians live action? Well, I don't know. They did it perfectly right the first time. I know it wasn't Disney that done it. Um, but 101 Dalmatians, uh, the, mo uh, the, the movie that they done years ago, you cannot beat the Corella de Vil. I'm sorry, you can't. She came across as freaky, evil, just mean. That's a villain. That's what a villain is supposed to be. But Emma Stone being a villain, a Cruella de Vil, a really evil woman that wants to, you know, get puppies to make coats and things. I, I, I'm sorry about that. I don't know. Anyhow, let me know about this trailer because this is what we're talking about. The second trailer for Milan. And I hope that, you know, if this was a, a movie that you were looking forward to, that you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully even at half as much as I enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, that's fine as well. I will see you all in my next video because I kind of get the sense that I've talked too much. Okay, so I'm going to go. Thanks very much for all the support, um, all my true supporters. I really, really appreciate every single thing you do for me, no matter whether it's just you watch it and you don't comment, whatever. I really appreciate every little thing you do. And I will speak to you all very soon down in the comment section. And until then... Until my next video, sorry. Don't forget that the Force will be with you always. Bye, guys.